The defeat of the far right in France regional election makes front page news on this side of English Channel. As the Times points out, National Front leader Marine Le Pen was beaten by her centre-right rival after supporters of the mainstream parties turn out in force to overturn a sizable lead she enjoyed after the first round of voting. The Guardian says mass tactical voting meant the National Front, which ranked as the most popular party in France after the first round failed to secure control of any regions. A different sort of European politics leads the Daily Mail. The paper's headlines show some still, Dave. London Mayor Boris Johnson makes a suggestion in the Daily Telegraph that he thinks would help his party leader. Mr. Johnson writes in the paper that an exemption from EU rules on free movements of citizens that allows Denmark to ban non-residents from buying homes could be emulated by Britain to impose waiting times on benefit. Meanwhile, the Financial Times reports that Mr. Cameron and his cabinet colleagues are considering the nationalization of engineering firm Rolls-Royce nuclear submarine business. Property Market News leads the Daily Express. It reports that the average starting price for homes put on the market during 2015 rose by £20,000 over the course of the year. That's an average of £1,700 a month, it says. There will, however, be change to the X Factor's judging lineup, according to the Daily Star. The Sun reports claims that a firm collecting doorstep donations for St. John's Ambulance has been targeting easy elderly people who live alone. The Daily Mirror reports call from the mother of a murdered woman whose body has never been found. The Eyes Today's front page headlines Osborne accused of police funding copped out. The Eyes Sisters paper The Independent using the same story Osborne risking security with police funding cuts. The Metro reports claims aired over the weekend from the last Britain held at US detention camp at Guantanamo Bay. Shakira Mir says former Prime Minister Tony Blair knew he was torture at the base. The paper's headlines, Gitmo Britain, Blair knew I was tortured.